Hello, this is Robert. I'm a tax attorney and we're going to go over tax relief in 2021, current resolutions and how COVID-19 might affect your results. So the three most common forms of tax relief are offering compromise, currently not collectible status, and a payment plan. And with that payment plan, if the person qualifies a first time penalty abatement based on prior compliance. Two less common options of tax relief are injured spouse and innocent spouse, and we're not going to be covering those in this video, but we'll have links on information to those options below. Some of you also might be paying in full, and if that's the case, skip to our first time penalty abatement guide, which is linked below. First, let's talk about offering compromise, which is the result most people want to get if they can. And with offering compromise, you're trying to settle the tax debt for less than you owe. And in fact, sometimes these settlements are really, really good. You're getting hundreds of thousands of debt settled for $100. It happens all the time. However, the requirements for that are really what determine how much you save. It's not a percentage, like on some ads you'll hear, oh, you get 90% off your tax debt. It doesn't really work that way. A lot of time, it's a small fraction of a fraction of the percentage of the total debt. But it's figured out by calculating your income, your expenses, and your assets. For some of you in 2021, your odds of getting an offer in compromise are now better. Your business has been decimated, you may have lost your job, and your income and expenses are either close or in the red. Your odds of getting that settlement are now much better than they were before. If you were only impacted by the shutdowns temporarily and now all your financials are back to normal, whether that's at your job or at your business, well, your odds of a settlement are going to be based on what your numbers normally are because that would be seen as a temporary loss, not a long-term problem going forward. In any instance, if you qualify, offering compromise is often the best option for most people. And you can check out our comprehensive guide on offering compromise linked below. Now let's talk about currently not collectible status. Now this is effectively a payment plan for zero dollars with the IRS. The debt is still on file, but your obligation to pay per month is zero. If your job was lost or your business was crushed in 2021 due to coronavirus, then there's a really good chance you qualify for currently not collectible status. But if you also qualify for an offer and compromise, often that's still gonna be the best option. So we see a lot of people that put their cases into currently not collectible status when instead they should have done an offer and compromise. Now sometimes currently not collectible status can be better in certain cases than an offer and compromise because the tax debts are going to expire soon. And this often gets done incorrectly by some tax law firms and tax relief companies because they submit an offer and compromise when the tax debt is close to expiring. So you really wanna weigh your options when it comes to expiring tax debts, currently not collectible status, and offer and compromise. So take a look at our guide below on currently not collectible status and expiring tax debts for more information. Now let's talk about payment plans with a potential penalty abatement. So if you do not qualify for an offer and compromise, you don't qualify for currently not collectible status, there's no injured spouse, there's no innocent spouse, there's really nothing to do to fight the debt and you can't pay it off, well, you're probably gonna be stuck in an IRS payment plan. COVID-19 hasn't really affected this type of tax relief because if you would have gotten a payment plan before and you would get a payment plan now, it's kind of the same result either way. The IRS has massively simplified payment plans and now it's much easier to get them and a lot of them can be just done online through their online system as long as you owe less than $50,000. If the debt's over $50,000, you can apply by phone, mail, or in person. Below you can see our guide on IRS payment plans that talks about the different amounts and payment plans that are available currently in 2021. The second part of tax relief for those that are going to be in a payment plan is the penalty abatement. Now there are two main types of penalty abatements. The first time penalty abatement based on prior compliance and penalty abatements based on reasonable cause. The first time penalty abatement is easy to get. The IRS will give it to you if in the first year of a series of years that you owe on, you do not have any penalties for the prior three years ever assessed on the account. And we'll give an example of that. For an example, let's say you owe 2017, 2018, and 2019. In order to get a first time penalty abatement based on prior compliance on tax year 2017, the agent will look and see if you were ever assessed penalties on 2016, 2015, and 2014. 
If you are not, you should be able to get a first time penalty abatement based on prior compliance on tax year 2017. The second type of penalty abatement is based on reasonable cause. You need to have good reasons of why you did not pay the tax debt on time or why you did not file on time. The reasons need to be really good. And I tell people don't really count on these to go through, but if you've got some good reasons, it's definitely worth a shot. If you could use the help of our expert tax attorneys, you can call us at 888-515-4829. That's 888-515-4829. Or you could go to trp.tax slash start. And we'll also have the link listed below. If you're doing your case yourself, check out our free tax help guide at trp.tax slash tax help. And we'll have that link below as well. Thanks for watching and have a great week.